While the school year for most Marylanders just started, many had an unexpected early dismissal today. Baltimore City Schools, without air conditioning, let out two hours early today because of the unseasonably hot temperatures. WJZ is live outside Polly High School. Rachel Minotoff talked to the school district and has an update on the effort to install air conditioning units in all of the district schools. Rachel. Vic, the school district has been working for a while to install building-wide HVAC systems and individual room units, but there are still several dozen schools that are in need of updated heating and cooling systems. An unexpected dismissal on day two of the school year. I don't understand why here in 2019, almost 2020, that we're still facing this problem. Parents like Gregory Pinckney working. lined up outside of Polly and Western High Schools to pick up students two hours before regular dismissal. That call was made because of the unusually hot day and a lack of air conditioning inside school buildings. Yeah, it was hot. The city school district says it's been working as part of its capital improvement project to install central heating and air in all of its schools. Schools. In 2016, we had 70 school facilities that did not have air conditioning, and now we're down to 57 without it, so we're making progress. Over the last few weeks, the Baltimore Teachers Union and individual donors have been dropping off dozens of portable fans in preparation for the school year, but they were not enough to ward off Wednesday's heat. If we're interested in really having the kids' grades excel, we need to have a place of learning that's conducive to that learning environment. The teachers union released this statement saying in part, our scholars continue to suffer academically because their instructional time is interrupted due to these extreme conditions. Our facilities have a number of challenges that, that our students shouldn't have to have to be subject to. And um, so we do what we can to make our buildings as, as, in, um, as good as they can be for our students. There isn't an exact timeline for the completion of this capital improvement project. It's all dependent on the district's resources. We're live in North Baltimore tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.